Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. So, well, 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 let's go to the bridge district, I say. Greetings, citizens. I trust you'll be keeping your weapons at your sides. I should hate to have to run you by the garrison if anything should happen. Uh, no need for that, sir. We're not looking for trouble. I'm sure, but I extend to warning even so. It is not so much your conduct that I'm worried about, but that with all your gear you will l look a rich target. Heroes of goodness need no warning. Where we threat, evil trembles in our wake. I'm warning everyone so as to get the word out that there are guards on the street. We've had a string of killings and I don't want any more happening. Hmm. What, a couple of fools die in a bar fight or something? That is no less a crime than anywhere else, but no, the deaths are even more pointless than that. Murder, but not like any I've seen before. It's a disgustingly sick person out there, and I simply don't have the manpower to protect everyone. He's been killing paupers sometimes in the alley where they sleep. Why would someone prey on the poor? What could they have to take? Nothing. They have nothing to take. He kills them and that is all. Not only this is it pointless, but he does it in a painful in as painful a way as possible. It is it's sick. He flays them alive. There has been blood all over the area. Little Farage, a local urchin, found the latest victim. I hate to think of a child seeing that. That sounds Horrid. I can't imagine anything so awful. Why would someone want to do such a thing? The confines of the city do much to chisel the, at the sanity of its inhabitants, but I wonder if there's some other force at work. We had best be wary. Enough of this. I must go about my rounds. If you find any information about the murders, be sure to let me know. Don't go looking for trouble though. I have enough problem with walkers and beggars, or the ramper was damn near killed and the street woman in the area rose was plain lucky. Don't be like them. You needn't worry on our part, Lieutenant, for what I have seen, Abel eh, Chablow and his allies can protect themselves from just about anything. That's pretty much true. Okay, um... So we have another quest? To the ten mentioned that there was a series of grisly murders occurring in the bridge district. Someone is murdering the poor on the streets and removing their skin in a hideous fashion. You mentioned a child Faraji saw the most recent victim. You also mentioned a beggar Rampa and a Curtis and Rose as being involved in this investigation somehow. Okay, so here we have an estate. Five flagons in Merchant Square, estate of Serk Farad, Tanner Sharp. Del Lozor Sin, Temple of Helm, Derelict House, District Exit. Okay, let's see. Hmm? What's in that barrel here? It's empty. A peasant. So this district I'll trade you a few words, sure enough. isn't big, that's what I wanted to say. I'll tell you, it's only going to get worse. And you can't tell who they are by looking at them. This one here was in my tavern just last night. I up you. He was a man like any other. Just because he was in with that shadow thief crowd doesn't mean you should refuse to serve him. Got his own trouble anyway, without you helping. You have to refuse half the city and if you bar shadow thieves. Probably end up dead too. They don't scare me. Look at this bunch. That is they can get. And their little black hoods didn't help them one bit. What killed them was a lot more than you could have. Look, look at the marks on them. If this is a guild war like they say, it's just going to get worse. Yeah, yeah, you said it already. Maybe, maybe I should close up shop for a ten day, for a few ten day. I could use break. You close up when someone spills salt or forgets to knock on wood, you are old very world. Business as usual for me. We'll see. Guild Wars just mean trouble, lots of trouble. Okay, um, who are you? Come on up. 
And apparently that die there are a few dead shadow thieves lying around. So let's see whether we can enter that estate here. There seems to be a door. Um, do I want to enter that? Why not? We have several quests. Um, Anger Hildark told me that his latest shipment of Elysium was stolen by a dwarf named Nap. Anger cannot get the Elysium back himself because the word of a Durga is not trusted in him. I am to get the real Elysium. I have to exact justice on this bandit myself. Anger tells me that Nap bought a house in the bridge district marked as derelict house. Okay. Ryan Tall of the most noble lord of the Radiant Heart. Radiant Heart has helped me to seek out and ally myself with a group called the Fallen Paladins. They are reported to be in the bridge district led by a former knight named Anarch. I think the group is a th if I think the group is ahead, I have to do whatever is necessary and then report back to Sir Ryan. Find out a kidnapped Tyria in the bridge district, okay. Each week they will display their results as they work on their talents. Okay. Oh, there's another door here. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Welcome to the home of Acton Balthus, currently vice regent of the Council of Athgatla, my lord. Uh, lord Balthus is not here. Might I ask your purpose? Vice Regent? I thought all members of the Council were secret. Hmm, Lord Balthus is not a member of the Council per se, but he acts on their behalf. Someone must govern even when the Council is not in session. Now, if that is everything, I shall have to ask you to leave, my Lord. Lord Balthus would wish the privacy of his home respected. Would he? I await your word. Do not disturb my duties. You there, you are trespassing in the home of the vice regent of Athkatla. You will remove yourself from this place immediately. Um, what is my task? Why don't you be quiet? Okay. It shall be. Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. Acton Balthus. Gods, gods. Well, I, I'm afraid I charmed the gods. Item drained. What the fuck? Do not disturb my duties. Ah. Um, okay. Your metal with steel. <laughs> they don't really have much. Okay. So apparently we should not go in here. Fine by me. It shall be. Just open the doors now. Or rather. Close them. So that I know I was not in here. What do we have here? Who are you? A sailor. A woman on the high seas has to be tougher than any mate. Have you heard that there is some murderer flaying the skin from his victims? Sounds like some ghoul or something equally disgusting is about. Maybe not. Stephen the Hunter. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Seagulls be the most vicious and demonic of birth they are. Stephen shall kill them all one day and save us all. 
You would hurt those poor birds? They're scavengers only, and I'm sure they have done nothing to you. Wrong! These demons have carried off three of my brothers, they have. They are a plague upon us set by the gods, and I spit upon you gods, and again. He is mad. Gone quite bonkers, he is. So... Oh, I guess that's it. We have to get up here again. Oh well. Who are you? The court is on. Riedel. My prices are the best. Fish, get your fresh fish. You there. Is that you the freshest fish in all of Athkitla? I swear to you that there is less sewage in the water here than there is over in the docks. Less bodies too, till lately. Uh, why have there been more bodies lately? We used to get only a few bodies a week in the water, but now, betwixt the thieves' war and this nasty skinning business, the numbers have increased. Skinning business. That's what I said. Some fool biggie has been robbing folks of more than their lives. He's been swiping their skin as well. Go figure. Do you have any idea why someone might want to do such a thing? Beats me. Check with that Aegisfield fellow. He is the army fool who is investigating the affair. Nice guy. Kind of stupid. He has himself to the ADC. Ha! <laughs> what about the thieves while you spoke of? The Shadow Thieves had their pawns on all parts of Amnian life for years. Now a rival god has arisen and they're battling it out in the streets. Um, okay, bye. Next time buy some fish. Maybe not. What do we have here? Consider it done. Yay, money. Oh. Yes, I will do my best. Gotta be careful here. I am ready, I think. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. What is my task? Yes. What was in here? The wand of magic missiles. Apparently, that's not trapped. History of M. Um, Wand of magic missiles. No, not just me. On How my about honor. Everybody. <coughs> what the fuck? This place is riddled with traps. What do you need? I am scared. Leet a foot and all that. Okay. Hey. No, I'm I'm sick. I clicked on that fucking button. No, you don't tell me you didn't save. I don't auto save when I enter a building. Apparently not. It shall be. No, just the area gets loaded. I am ready. I think. 
Fine. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Yeah, the maze is not that bad. I mean, he returns. No, I will not take that shit. He returns after a while, but still. It shall be. I am ready, I think. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Get your shit together. Now. Yes, consider it done. What is my task? What do you need? I am skleet afoot and all that. I click on that. So, and now you disable the fucking trap. Thank you, bastard. On my honor. I will do my best. Insulation. Will giant strength. Stereo Vam, that three moon scene. Mind focusing? What is that? A horn. Bolts plus two. I hate you. What do you require? The Silver Horn of Valhalla. In the Horns of Valhalla rest the most valiant of warriors, their service to warn during their lives has rewarded them with honored positions in Valhalla. As part of the service, these warriors must offer their service uh, to any who blow a horn of Valhalla. This horn will summon forth a fifth level berserk warrior who will fight for the summoner for one minute. The horn may be used once per day. That's rather useful. Why don't you use that every now and then? Yes? Wait, what's that? Oh, there's a chair. Okay. Yes. Well, I wish I had a spell named Pierce Magic. Very well. One. Rampa. Is that one of the guys who should know something about uh, the killings? Miserable ragamuffins. Who's that? Who's poking old Rampa? What do you want? Get off. Axfield sent you? I ain't stole nothing. I'm not doing the whole slang thing that just uh, it annoys the hell out of me. Uh, you need a few gold coins? Maybe I could bend your ear for a few gold? You want to talk for gold? Then you go away. Okay, you speak and Rampa will listen, but don't you try no city business. Agreed. So tell me what you know of the murders. Nothing, not a thing. Nothing, not a thing? The god thought you might. 
Don't know nothing. God's kept us away. They all that they know all I know. That's it. But <laughs> but if I got so I but I got something they don't. I got what they don't. They they be blind. And, but I saw it and now it's mine. What do you get, Rumpa? What did you find? Not telling. You want? You gotta buy. I found it right near a body. It's mine. So you gotta pay. You pay a hundred gold. Yeah, a hundred. All right. Here's your hundred. Now, what is it that you found? It is not human flesh, don't you think it is? Because it's not. It's leather. But it's not human flesh, I tell you. Damn bodies be flayed and have none. But this ain't theirs. Thank you, Rampa. I'll be going now. You go, you good and go. Take the leather because it's not human flesh. That's different. You go and dance now. Talk to the seller that buys. I was able to get a piece of strange leather from the beggar Rampa who claimed that it was not human flesh. He found it near one of the victims, however, and the guest suggested that I speak to the seller that buys, which is, which I assume to mean a merchant, to find out exactly what it is. Exotic hide. This leather ha is thick and coarse, unlike even the heaviest hide from a cow or another domesticated animal. The creature this came off of must be exotic indeed. Um, a merchant. You are a merchant. What's in the barrel? Ooh, a gem. But I think the fish merchant wouldn't know anything about leather, would he? But one can always try. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. No. Nothing. Peasant. What do we have here? There's another door here, that's awesome. Let's see. And I save. You're just a commoner. Done. It's even locked. You require my counsel, yes? Yoshimo is willing. He. Ah! Fuck it. What is my task? As you ask. Oh, come on. Oh, my honor. Great. Just great. It's yes. I am ready. I think. Look for traps. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. I know that there is a trap. What is my task? Consider it done. Ankick shell. What am I supposed to do with an ankick shell? Thief! Great. <sighs> I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Yes, it shall be. Fine, just go. What is my task? Consider it done. Hello, you go in there? What the fuck? Falaha. Petra. Drakendras Valeria, why are you guys hostile? On my honor, I will do my best. Oh my oh my Imperial, what do you require? I, 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 
Magic missiles for us? No? Well done, throw a weapon here. Yes. What is my task? I won't let my friends be hurt! Those were bad guys. I really hope those were bad guys. You point, I punch. Let your servant await. Where Minsk goes, evil stand stands ready. Aside. I, as you wish. Swords, not word. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Nice looking helmet. So, what does it do? Praise of Defense AC7. How much XP did we get for that shit? Um, 12,000. Wow. Twelve thousand for her too. Six thousand. Eight thousand. Okay. Why did they attack me? I mean, okay, I invaded whatever they have here, but um, I am ready. Still, I think. fleet of foot and all that. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. <laughs> Oh, now you find something. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Ooh, one gold coin. Awesome. Don't On give me too much. Yes. Too far away. What do you need? Yoshimo is willing. <sighs> Star file. That's quite valuable. No. What do you guess? Very well. I'll help faster than Chick. Take a fast pause. Well, one out of three. What the fuck? What is my task? Done. I guess we're already on in there. We're in there.
What can I do? You could hear your boss. Vita Mortis Thanks. What do you require? As you ask. So, well, well, well. It shall be. Rose, bouquet. Okay, whatever. Are you interested in some thrills, darling? Hello there, handsome. What is it that Rose can do for you? Need a little rest and relaxation from your travels? Perhaps. Though I'm more interested in a little information right now. Information costs you just like anything else. If you've got a coin, I'll chit chat as long as you like. Twenty gold to your taste. We'll have a nice long talk. I'll pay your little fee. Good. Talk all you want then. I'll be sympathetic here. What's on your baby's what's on baby's mind? Um uh, I was carrying a melon. No. The guard seemed to think you saw something at a recent murder. That Angus Field talks too much. I told him what I saw, which was nothing. A man in a hood. That's all I saw. Didn't know the poor sod had died. <coughs> Wait, there was something. A smell besides the blood, I mean. I think it smelled... I think I smelled... Gurulberries. Yes, that's it. Gurulberries or something like it. Gurulberries? What are they used for? I can't recall. The guard didn't seem to think the information was important. They just thought I would probably recognize it if I smelled it again. Talk to that merchant, Bell. He might know what smells like that. If I, I'll see if I can choose between whatever he suggests. That will help you, sweetie. Thank you. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be waiting. You bought your time. So you're the merchant I should talk to. I trust you'll find them all in What can I do for you today? You seem a bit agitated. Anything you need? I wish to know... Wait, what do you have that smells like girl berries? Locally? Well, let me think. I know of three things with that smell. Girl berries are warm. And the bark of the oak is similar. And solid berries too. What would these things be used for locally? Well, I do a brisk business in girl berries they are used in folk remedies I uh, turned into tropical cells for <coughs> immediate afflictions oak bark is used to make tannin I believe natural creative agent for working with skins been in use for centuries there's a tanner reject hides man who has his shop near here he might have some tannin I'm not sure might be worth to ask him solid berries are used in the local bakery for their signature Mumbleberry pie. Very tasty, but they're closed now. It's the berries of season. Uh, if you have some of... I have some of each, if you wish. Free of charge because it's been a slow day. Was there anything else? I wanted to ask about this leather and where it might have come from. Let me see. Hmm. Looks quite thick indeed. Very rare, but I have seen it before. This is elephant hide. Good for strong armor, but I rarely see it. Elephant hide? Where would someone get such leather? From an elephant, probably. <laughs> the obvious answer would be from an elephant. No, you are not in a joking mood, are you? Well, there are perhaps a few places one might get such hide. A tanner might see such hide on occasion, though it would be rare. Might be difficult to work with as well. I do not hear about such things all that often. If you want to know more, you might speak to an actual tanner. There's one not far from here, in the house to the south, Rejack, if I remember his name. There's also a circus in town, I don't know if they have elephants, but the animal tamer would certainly see, have seen some in the past. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. As you wish, I will be here for most of the day. So what did we get? We got berries, and oak bark, and more berries. Are you interested in some thrills, darling? Back again? This has to be the weirdest question I've ever asked a customer. But do you have what you wanted me to smell? Yes, I do. He gave me three things for you to sample. Alright then. I'll have a look. Let me have those. Uh, mm, um, I've just remembered why I knew it smelled like cool berries. Eh, yeah, that was not 
what the man smelled like. Ah, no wonder the gods were laughing. Never mind. Next. Hmm, solid berries. Mumbleberry pear, right? That's not a smell though. Good thing too. I hate to think of the murders every time I smell the pie. Next. Hmm, that's the one. This tree bark stuff? It was stronger smell on him though. This is the same, but it's faint. What would make him smell like this? Hmm, it's oak bark. It's used to make tannin for making leather. So he might have worked with leather? What? Well, I hoped you that helped. You've got what you wanted. Off with you now, perhaps? No. Goodbye. Okay, what now? Um, the merchant Bell identified a strange piece of leather as elephant hide. Certainly difficult to find in the city, although Bell thought that the tanner might be able to get a hold of some. He also mentioned that a circus was in town. While he didn't know if they had elephants or not, the circus animal tamer might also be one who could get such a hide. The Curtis and Rose tested the three samples. Bell gave me and identified the oak bark as the one that the murder smelled of, only much stronger. The bark is used to make tannin, so it's likely that the murder worked with leather in some way. Okay, but it's late, so we will take a break here and continue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.